We'll guide you through how to use Handbrake to reduce and compress video file size. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Handbrake is a video encoding software, and we're gonna guide you through how you can use it to reduce and compress video file size. So here you have a video I'm going to go and use Handbrake with and guide you through using. If I go and hover over it, you can see it's currently 889 megabytes. We'll come back to the end to go and show you how much we've reduced it by. So to get started, let's download and install it if you haven't already. Open a web browser of your choice and you can go and search for Handbrake like so. Come to the site, handbrake.fr. You can see it's an open source video transcoder. It's free as well, which is great. So you can go and press the download button. Be patient when it goes and downloads. It shouldn't go and take too long. Now we need to go and open up our file explorer like so. Go to the left and you need to go and find downloads. Then we can go and find it. Go and double click on Handbrake and then we can go and start the installation process. It's like installing any other app. We can go and press next. Read this through, I already have, and we can press next, then press install. Go and wait for this to complete. As you can see, we can then go and press finish, and then you can go and double click on the desktop shortcut or search for it at the bottom of your computer. So Handbrake is now open. The great thing about Handbrake is, is you can do this with a batch amount of videos. If you've got a lot you want to reduce, perhaps for video editing, or perhaps if you're um, going and loading them somewhere, or you can just do one, which in this case is what I'm doing. If you've got a batch, you can select that though. In this case, I'll select file. And then what you need to do is go and select the video you want to do this with, click on it and press open. Handbrake will then go and scan it and we'll go and just show you it here so you can make sure that it is the right video. Now let's get started. So what you want to do is first of all, come to present in the top left, click here. Now what you want to do is go and come all the way down to the bottom and you want to come into professional and we can go and select production max. So this is just going to be the preset. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go and customize this just to go and get the settings the best for us to go and reduce the video file size a lot, but also go and keep the quality high. So for the format and summary, I recommend MP4. That's going to be the most compatible one. You can come into dimensions. You don't need to go and change this really. Then you can come into filters and apply these if you want to. I don't need to though, but this may apply to your video if you want to go and get a certain effect or filter here. Then you want to come into video. Now here we can go and get started. So for the encoder, what you can do is click here. X264 is going to be fine. If you have an NVIDIA card, you could try using NBank. It should be a little bit faster, but otherwise X264 will be fine. Frame rate, that's essentially how smooth the video is. I say keep it the same as source. You want to go and keep a constant frame rate as well, so it doesn't go and vary too much. Then what you can do is you can come down to encoder options and you can go and keep this as it is. If you go and make this too faster, this means it's going to go and give more priority to handbrake, which you can do, but the default option should be fine. Then you want to come into quality. Now, this is a really important setting. I'd be the most important one. So at the moment it's set to almost one, which is placebo quality. And that means that the quality is going to be really high, but it's going to limit how the impact of the video file size reduction will be. If you set this all the way down to the left to lower quality, and it's gonna go and increase this RF number a lot. This means the video file size is going to be a lot smaller, but the quality will be taking a big hit. So what we can do is go and find a sweet spot to go and keep the quality really high and minimize the, the loss of quality, but while also going shrinking the video file size. So a good amount is somewhere to go is in between 18 to 25. Of course, you can go and experiment. Um, in this case, I'll go for 24 just to go and show you that we can really go and decrease this video file size a lot. Then for the rest of this up there here, you can come into audio. I don't change that. There is option for subtitles if you want to add them and chapters, but I don't really go and change any of that. Then what we can do is select summary. And then what you want to do is you can go to the top here as this is a really good present we've now made and you can go and use it again in the future. So you can press save new present and you can go and give this a name. So you could go and name this favorite or whatever you want. It's going to be up to you. Then go and press add. And so now it's going to go and appear here and you can go and select it at the top here as you can see favorite. So with that selected, you can then do this with more videos really easily as well. And what you want to do is come down to save as and press browse to the right. This will be where the video is in saved. So I'm gonna put this on my desktop and I'm gonna go and name this final, like so, just so we can easily find it. Make sure you keep that .mp4 and you can then press save. Now to go and get it saving and actually compressing, what you can do is go and press start encode. If you've got lots of videos, what you can do is go and add them to the queue and then start the encode and it'll go and work its way through the list. And then what you can do is go and press start encode and go and wait. So in the bottom left here, you can go and see the progress. It's pretty quick. If you do have a slower computer, it will go and take a longer time. That's the great thing about using NVENC. It should go and be faster as it's using your NVIDIA graphics card. But as I said, in general, it shouldn't go and take too long. 
When it's finished, it'll go and say Q finished. And then what we can do is we can come out of Handbrake and then here is the video. So now I'm gonna put this next to it. If I go and hover over this first one to remind you, you can see it's 889 megabytes and two minutes 46. Whereas this video is 61 megabytes, two minutes and 46. So you can go and see that is a huge reduction, you know, over a 10 times file size reduction. So it's so much smaller. And that means I can easily go and upload it elsewhere um, and go and transfer it. And it's just gonna take up less storage space, which is ideal. So if you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.